Good morning and a very warm welcome from BOTV HQ right here in Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, the presenter here at BOTV, where we're here this morning to judge the latest dream car competition, which ran from the 11th to the 17th of May 2020. And just before I hand over to our lawyer this morning, once again, massive congratulations to Thomas Walters winning the incredible Toyota GT86 that we have in the BOTV lineup. I'm now going to pass over to Alex Brooks from Onside Law, who will oversee the proceedings this morning. My name is Alex Brooks from Onside Law and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors Wilkins Kennedy. I would now like to introduce today's judges. First up, it's Matt Cannon. Good morning, my name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and footballer. If you can now use the secure link provided and mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be and then talk us through your decision. Okay, there's two players in shot. A uh, player in yellow, I think, is going to play the ball. He's looking up to the ball. His body position, he's leaning back uh, towards the red player. Uh, the red player is also leaning back. Um, and he doesn't look tense at all. He doesn't look like he's, he, he's going to change direction to me and actually come and meet the ball. And I think the, the, the yellow player is sort of shielding the ball a little bit. He's looking up to the ball as the red player is, and I've cross-referenced their eyes, um, and I've got the centre of the ball uh, where my cross is. If you can now please hit submit, and we'll come back to you at the end for the panel decision. Next up, it's Hugh Gilroy. Good morning, my name's Hugh Gilroy. I'm an active referee, mentor, tutor, and observer. Yeah, so for me, two players in shot. Um, I felt this player in red. Um, the back was just was just on looking, maybe even looking at the, the player in yellow. Um, and I felt the player in yellow is tensed. He's either, for me, just played it with his head um, or he's, he's about to. Um, his arms really uh, tensed up. He's got clenched fists. His neck, you can see, he's really tense. Um, and I felt he was just looking up uh, at an angle, but that the ball was either he'd just been played by him or... He was very close to playing it, so I felt it was nearby uh, and at that sort of angle, judging from where his eyes were looking. Next up, Leo Donnellan. Good morning, everybody. My name's Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex-professional football player, having been with Chelsea, Fulham and Leighton Oil. Yeah, there's obviously two players in the shot. Um, they're, they're both looking intently at the ball. Um, I think if you look at the player in red, I don't think he's going to challenge for the ball at all. I think he's just, uh, he's, he's on looking. Um, he looks like he's kind of moving away from the ball uh, and, and looking behind him. I think the player in yellow, uh, he might have headed this ball, um, but also the ball might still be coming into him. So just looking at his eye line, he's looking quite intently up at the ball and also the playing red is has got a good view of where the ball is and i think if you look at both their eye lines uh and their body shape uh, that's why i've decided to put my cross there next up it's alan goma uh good morning my name is alan goma i'm an ex-professional footballer having played for paris saint germain newcastle and fulham uh okay we've got two players in the shots um the obviously the play uh, in uh, with a yellow shirt on the left hand side with is about to head the ball. Um, you can see that looking at his you know body language, he seems quite tense. Um, uh, you can see his uh, right arm, you know the the, the muscles on his neck, and uh, he's very focused on the ball. I think the impact with the ball is uh, is imminent. Uh, the play on the right with a red shirt. Um, I, I think he's, he's just uh, waiting and see where the ball is gonna uh, where the ball is gonna go. Um, so yeah, the player on the left is looking up uh, quite steeply. Uh, so yeah, based on the two eye lines, I decided the the ball the center of the ball was where I put my cross. Next up, Kieran Fitzgibbon. Hello, my name is Kieran Fitzgibbon. I played football for more than thirty years and now a senior county referee. <laughs> Okay, um, we've got two players in shot. Uh, both players are looking in an upwards direction, uh, looking towards the ball. I think they've both got their eyes firmly fixed on the ball. 
Um, I think the player in yellow is closest to the ball, and he's looking almost directly above him, just slightly in front of him. Um, his facial muscles are tense, his lips are pursed, he's got a furrowed brow, so I think he's imminently about to, or thinks he's about to play the ball. Um, I think he's getting himself in position to uh, jump up and head the ball. Um, the player in red behind him is onward looking. I don't think he's close enough and knows he's not going to get the ball, but he's looking in such a way that he thinks the ball may go over the head of the player in yellow. Um, however, I think the player in yellow will get up and make some kind of contact with the ball. But I've taken the eye lines from both players to judge where I think the ball is, and that's why I've placed my cross there. And finally, Nigel Hicks. My name's Nigel Hicks. I've been a um, Supply League uh, football referee for over 30 years, and I'm also the director of Middlesex FA Limited. Okay, so uh, we've got uh, two players today, very uh, clear uh, line of eyesight. Uh, both looking at a ball appears to be dropping in towards them. Um, the uh, it, it would appear that uh, the, uh, the 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 player in yellow, uh, who's at the uh, the front of the pair, um, is the uh, one who's going to be receiving the ball. Uh, defender looks as though he uh, may be about to move forward into a challenge, uh, but uh, as a, both good clean sights. So um, checking across the sight lines, uh, I think the intersection of the two or where, where I judge them to be looking uh, is where I've marked my cross. Thanks, judges. Matt, as the main judge, could you now come to a panel decision with the other five judges? And for your reference, the larger white cross is the calculated average of the six individual selections. Uh, good morning, all. Um, okay. I will, I think, first draw in some, some lines got quite a, a narrow band on both the players eyes so that's the, the sort of narrow bands um, I'll start with you Nigel you're at the top uh, next door to me what were your thoughts of uh, of this picture um, thoughts were we got a good good line of uh, sight on both players, g good view of what what uh, they're, where they're actually looking, and um, I, I I feel that the the player at the back is is looking directly across his you know one eye to the next his line of sight is directly across, looking at a ball. Um, the uh, the player at the front, the yellow shirt, appears to be uh, uh, preparing to receive the ball, so I anticipate is is dropping towards him, and the player in red behind is looking at that ball as it drops. And um, I think roughly uh, for the, uh, the the line of sight on the player in front, uh, the uh, where I put my cross, uh, broadly speaking, between the uh, the two bands you've got there. Yeah, uh, that I, intersection. I concur with you. Uh, I just thought the yellow player was waiting to receive the ball too. So yeah. um, now, uh, Kieran, you're slightly to the right of uh, all of us. What was your thoughts? Yeah, more or less the same, but I did feel that both players were sort of leaning backwards. Um, I thought the player in yellow's face is tense. He's got the uh, furrowed brow and pursed lips and muscles are tense in his face. And I thought the ball was just, and I thought it's also his eye line, but I've probably taken his more from his right eye, which is slightly above him, more to the, slightly to the right, as though he was going to have to just lean back and and go up for the ball. Um, it wasn't clear whether he's going to head the ball or chest the ball. I think he's looking originally to try and chest the ball, but maybe the way the ball is coming in, he's had to readjust his position, and that's why I placed mine slightly to the right. Yeah, because we can on this eyeball, you can see distinctly underneath the, the, the white. Um, yeah. Um, in contrast, Leo, you're slightly to the left of us all. What were your thoughts? Yeah, I feel the play in yellow is... Uh, going to receive the ball, or I, I felt he might have even headed the ball. Um, but once I think if you look at both of his eyes, you know, I actually think his right eye, I think he's looking forward a little bit. So he's looking upwards, but a little bit as I'm looking at the picture to the left. So that's that's so why with the ball in the foreground, sort of in front of him as opposed to to the side of him. Is that that what you mean? Yeah, so he, he's he's leaning a little bit with his body shape as well. So I think the ball, yeah, and th there's not much in it, but obviously I'm a little bit more to the, to the left uh, because of his right eyeball, basically. 
and Hugh, you're sort of directly below myself and Nigel, um, but but slightly lower. What um, what's your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I think similar with what Leo said. It wasn't. I wasn't too sure if he just played it or was about to. I mean, his arms very tense, got like a clenched fist. You look at his neck; he's really straining. So I felt he'd either just played it or was about to kind of meet it with his head. Um, but I just felt from his uh, right eye that one for me was looking a bit more along the the left line. As you've drawn it, I think that, yeah. that's kind of how I saw it more. Didn't take a lot from the guy in red behind, personally. Um, yeah. If I draw another line in from inside you, the difference between yours on the left and, and Leo's is, is very, very small anyway. It's, it's, a, it's a very small um, section of, of the picture. Uh, and yeah. last, Alain, you're the lowest and it's the ball that's closest to the player. What were your thoughts? Yeah, no, I thought, you know, I agree with uh, what's been said before. I think the, you know, the, the player in yellow is going to have the ball. And, uh, you know, looking at his, you know, his body language, his facial expression, you know, he's very tense. So what I thought is, you know, the, the ball was coming on, uh, from the left at a high speed, you know, hence he was a bit like uh, surprised. So, um, and, uh, and, and that's why also I went quite close to him because I think he was about to head the ball. And, um, but when you look at his eyes, I think his left eye is, is looking a bit steeper uh, than the right one. So it's kind of between the two, I would say. Yeah. That's how I, I, I see it. Yeah, okay. Um, I mean, what I'll do, just to have a quick look at what happens to the average. If I take you, Leo, out as you're far to the left, just to see what happens to the average, it just drops into the, into in the rest of it but it doesn't move that much um and as i said before it, it's the cross is sort of is equidistant from where kieran's is and also alain's so um i mean have you got any more thoughts on, on this leo yeah no i i just think obviously for me i think the ball is coming into him from that direction so yeah. that's that's also, yeah. why I think, is a little bit in front of him. Yeah, so because I think if we did bring the ball out in, into front of him on a, a, a sort of the 3D version we've discussed many times, where the ball is actually coming into the player sort of flat onto his body, um, mm -hmm. we're actually quite in a, as a ball of, of, of the choices, they're in a quite a small cluster. Um, any other thoughts from anybody? No? Well, it's, it's kind of in the middle of all of us, Matt, isn't it? You know, because yeah, I mean, this, 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 this cross encompasses pretty much everybody in it. And as I said, if I, if I take Leo out, it still goes into the middle of us all. Um, I personally think that's a little bit too close to the player for my liking. Um, again, uh, no one else has any, any other thoughts on this? Anyone? would argue anyone should be taken out? I think based on the right eye of the play in, uh, in yellow, uh, Leo should be kept. Because uh, when you look, you know, he's looking quite in front, you know, with his right eye. Yeah. Uh, and therefore, uh, I think, yeah. Uh, yeah. As I said, I think that between right. you and, and, and Leo, it's a very fine band. Um, it's just the distance that Leo's away, but I think, yeah, okay. So are we all whole happy to um, accept that the average is the best choice? Yeah. Yes, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm fine yeah. with it, yeah. I'm happy. Yeah, Nigel? Yeah, definitely. I think where the cross is now, if you were to see a picture with the ball there, it's entirely plausible. That's exactly where it is. Yeah, so if I put a magnifier over the, over the average cross, it's... Yeah, okay. So if we're all happy... Okay, judges, everyone happy with that decision? Yes. yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Matt, if you can now please hit submit. And the coordinates selected are 985751.
These coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition and they will then inform BATB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.